uh, let me show you how you can build pretty much any internal tool without JavaScript or SQL knowledge with Jet Admin. So let me show you how you can do that. So first of all, we have our canvas and we have our pre-built UI elements on the right that we can choose from. So let's start, let's start with the containers. Let's pick that. Let's pick that here. Let's put that here. Now we can connect our data. Let's start with a table. So we want to display our users and let's configure that. We need to choose our source and we simply pick the collection. So in that case, it's users. And it's already populated. So you can see it right here. But we want to render different field differently. So for example, this profile image, we don't want to see this HTTPs. We want to see the real image. So let's see how we can do that. First of all, we click Save here. Now we go to Columns, and we have all the columns here. And we don't want to see all of them. Let's say we want to see this, 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 and this. And we don't want to see that, 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 that. And we can quickly disable them or enable them, and it will be automatically reflected here. Now let's render this profile image as an image. In that case, we just simply change the value here to image. And it's going to be rendered like that. Let's make it square and click Save. Now, also, let's render this active as flag. OK, let's go here. Just choose here. And we need to click checkbox here. And boom, it's rendered like a flag. Now click Save. The next thing, click Save one time. Next thing we need to do, we pick a user from here. And we want to choose a discount and send an email to him reading on that discount and telling him how he can um, acquire that. So in that case, let's start first of all with title. Let's call it provide discount. Sounds great. OK. Let's add another field. Go to fields and let's choose, um, what is that? Dropbox here, Dropbox. So like here and now we get to choose which uh, pretty much options we have. First one, let's say I want to give 10% discount and 20% discount. So. Okay, now we just change the name here. And voila, it's ready. Now let's add more fields. What else do we need? We need a title and a body. So from that, we can choose uh, the text field, drag and drop here. Let's call it title. And let's go save. Let's drag and drop another text. It's going to be our body. And we want to make it bigger. So let's uh, flag it wide and multi-line and say we're going to need 16 lines for our text. Click save. And the last but not least, we need to uh, add an action, a button that will send an email. So in that case, we go to data and we add just that button here. OK, now we need to connect this to our, our backend logic. In that case, we'll use SendGrid. So let's call it send email. Great. Now run operation. In that case, we need to choose a resource. It's going to be SendGrid. And which is an operation, send an email. So from email, we're going to just pick my email. And from there, we need to uh, choose dynamically for who are we going to send this email to. So instead of set manual value, we choose this. Go this, go components, go here, table, click to row. And we choose our email here from the click row. OK, subject, same way. Value from components, select components. And we choose from title here, current value. Great. And the last but not least, body. In that case, again, from components, select, and body here, current value. Great. So pretty much our tool is ready. Now let's save changes and see what we get. Okay, this is our tool. And as you can see, 
everything that we have here, we achieved in less than, I believe, three minutes. And we did it only by drag and dropping. So uh, Jet Admin, like many other frameworks, allows you to build internal tools like 95% of functionality only by drag and dropping, enabling flags, and clicking different rows. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.